Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm going to do a short video right now on uh, just to bring you up to date on where I am on the engine here. So uh, I'm ready to uh, repaint the engine now. And what I've done is I've gone ahead and wiped the whole thing down with a carburetor cleaner. And as you can see, I've got the clutch cover all polished up and ready to go. I've still got a little bit of polishing to do, but as you can see, it's uh, pretty nice right now. So far cry from what it was before. So a little uh, extra work, hard work on that, and it looks like new again. No matter what condition they're in, you can bring them back. So anyway, uh, the engine... Um, like I said, I've wiped it all down with the uh, carburetor cleaner and I've taped up the areas that I don't want to have paint on. And sometimes you don't have to get real precise, you know, you just kind of cover it, cover it up because you're just really going to fog over it. And as you can see here, I've, I've cleaned up the uh, valve cover and I've painted it. But what I do is before I actually... Uh, put the valve cover back on permanently I tape up the holes from below so that the paint doesn't get down inside the engine and then I just lay it on top here like that so that the paint doesn't get all over the cams and so on and like I said I've already painted the valve cover so if I get some paint on it, it's no big deal. Maybe I'll put another coat on the valve cover uh, while I'm touching the engine up. And then I put some old spark plugs in there to cover up those holes, so I don't care if any paint gets on those. That way I can kind of shoot down in here to brighten up that, that dark area of the head. And as long as you use engine paint, you know, painting the head is no problem. Uh, the engine, you know, the, the paint can handle it if it's uh, 500 degree paint. So anyway, like I said, I've already uh, cleaned the engine up and wiped it with carburetor cleaner, gotten all the fingerprints and the oil off of there. And, um, and then what I did was I put one of my old clutch covers that has not been restored yet. I've just kind of like placed it on there to cover the clutch assembly so that no paint gets on there. That way I can just, you know, paint around it. I don't care if any paint gets on here. And then that way, when I'm all done, the engine will look really, really nice after I kind of fog over it again with new paint. And then, you know, obviously I covered up the uh, intake tubes and anything else that you don't want to get paint on, uh, you know, I just tape it up and paint the rest. So as soon as I'm done fogging over it, well, actually, before I fog over it, as you can see, I've hooked up my engine hoist chains to the engine. You know, I got pretty makeshift set up here but it works i've picked up many cbx engines this way um, and i've got my engine hoist over here all ready to go so the best thing to do if you have an engine hoist is buy one of these engine levelers and that's what those chains came from and it's really great because you can you can crank it and uh, level it if it's crooked or, you know, whatever. So, um, you know, an engine hoist is really handy to have. And like I said, these, these chains and attachments here are what actually came with that engine leveler. So, um, so what I'll do is I'll pick the engine up, I'll roll it outside, fog over it, with the paint and then bring it back in here and I'll set it 
back on the lift here, like I had mentioned before, uh, flipped over, you know, so that the front of the engine is facing the front wheel. And then what I'll do is I'll, you know, put it on jack stands, like I explained earlier, one on each end of the crank. And then that way I can lower the frame, which is all ready to go, back onto the engine, and it'll really start coming together then. And then that, at that point, I can go ahead and install the, the clutch cover and all the other engine covers that aren't installed at this point, including the valve cover. Now, the reason that I don't install the valve cover right now is because as some of you may know, the valve cover gasket is a really thick rubber gasket. And you don't want to paint the edge of that gasket because it looks really nice. It gives it a nice fine detail, you know, to see that black gasket between the really nice uh, painted engine. So I always put the, cat, the gasket on after I've painted the engine so that I have that nice black rubber showing all the way around. Uh, and that's true with the rest of these gaskets too. Now with the exception of the gasket that goes between the cylinders and the block, that gasket from Honda is green. And I definitely want that to be silver painted. So, you know, you don't want to have any of that green gasket showing. So, you know, that the, the silver paint will cover up that green and it'll look a lot better. So I will get to it. And by the way, on the last video, um, I had a couple of products that I was using and I have added those links down in the description if you want to get some of the products. Now, from now on, I will always be listing the, uh, the products that I use down in the description. You know, like today, I'll go ahead and put the, the uh, B12 um, chem tool in there. And I'll put the kind of paint that I use and all of that. So, uh, you know, just in case you want to go on Amazon, order any or th uh, anything like that. I'll have the links down there in the description from this point on. So, uh, and if you request any, you know, any products that I've used from say my previous videos, just let me know and I'll post the, uh, the link on those, uh, each one of those videos. So anyway, I think that's it for this video. So uh, tomorrow I will come here and I'll shoot the engine real quick and then I'll put it back on here and I'll install the frame. So the next video um, will be an exciting one because I'll be attaching the engine back onto the frame again. So anyway, thank you for watching. And again, please uh, subscribe, like, and share. And those of you who have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. I have a whole bunch of uh, videos coming and uh, hopefully they'll be interesting. So uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.